Well, one thing that you mentioned that was an issue on the, the quiz again was uh, ranking assets and bases, and there's a lot on that in the uh, in the uh, notes, and that's something that isn't really in the bids much, so maybe we uh, can continue with that for a bit. So here's the material that we were talking about last time. I actually, uh, maybe I can give you an example from the quiz I just Great. did. Great, that would be helpful. Uh, I don't have it written down, but it was like mm -hmm. a carboxylic acid connected to a benzene ring, mm -hmm. a hydroxy connected oh, to a benzene ring. One sec. Okay. So you were saying? A, high, uh, a carboxylic acid with the uh -huh. carbonyl carbon directly connected to the benzene, uh, hydroxy with uh, connected to the benzene, and a methyl connected to the benzene. That was the example you remembered? Yes. Okay. And um, I, I, I guess it was obvious that uh, this was the, the methyl, is the, I think, is the easiest to determine that it's the least acidic. But I had a, I had a little bit of problem, I guess, with the resonance structure on the carboxylic acid. I, you know, I drew both the conjugate bases, where it says that the carboxylic acid is the most acidic. Right now, now, first of all, in a sense, it should be obvious which of these is the most acidic. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, which one is the most acidic? The carboxylic acid. Right, and, and, and why is that in zoic acid? Because there's more resonance structures. Right, and also, I mean, just because it has the word acid yeah. in its yeah. name, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, what's the name of this compound? Uh, that's phenol. Right. What type of functional group do we have here? It's a hydroxy. And what's another name for hydroxy functional groups? An alcohol. An alcohol, yeah. that's right. Now, we discussed that phenol is more acidic than other alcohols. Mm -hmm. Phenol is more acidic than other alcohols, but we still don't call it phenolic acid. Sure. Right? Um, whereas we call this benzoic acids. That's a strong hint that this is definitely the most acidic over here. And uh, maybe, if you, uh, did you have to explain why this was the most acidic or just um, order them? Um, no, I just had to order them. Okay. All right. Well, for practice, it would be good to know why this is the most acidic. So, yeah, what's the specific reason that this is more acidic? Um, because the... Well, for res because there's more resonance forms than any of the other molecules. Right. And that Which resonance forms are you referring to? So if this, remember that the way to tell whether how acidic something is, is to draw what it would look like after it loses the acid, after it loses the proton. Well, here's what these would look like after they lose the proton. So what, what's the additional resonance structure you were referring to that this molecule has and this one doesn't? By putting the negative onto the other oxygen. That's right. So we yeah. can put the negative onto the other oxygen. Now actually, in a sense, um, maybe we shouldn't try counting how many resonance structures there are. In a sense, this has more resonance structures because this oxygen can put its negative charge in the benzene ring. Yes. And if you actually look at this here, you'll see there's no way for this negative charge to get in the benzene ring. Problem. Ah, okay. It's good that you noticed that. Yeah. This actually only has two resonance structures, yeah. where when it's on the oxygen and one when it's on this oxygen. But here there's four resonance structures, one where the negative charge is on the oxygen and one where it's on each of these carbons. Now, is the only reason why it's, I mean, is one of the reasons is because, yeah, there are four resonance structures where the negative mm -hmm. is on the other carbon, but unlike an oxygen, the oxygen can handle the negative better than the carbons around the ring. I was, would that, Excellent. Is that the reason Yeah, why? that's a really good explanation right there. Most of the resonance structures here put the negative charge on a carbon, mm. but this has another resonance structure where it puts a negative charge on the oxygen. That, that's exactly the thinking that you were going through. Well, oxygen would much rather have the negative charge than any of these oh. carbons. So that would be a good reason why this is a more stabilized charge. Also, this negative charge is also stabilized by what we call induction. Mm -hmm. And it's also stabilized by induction from this oxygen. Okay. Uh, again, the oxygen is pulling the negative charge towards it by induction as well, whereas there's no induction stabilization over here. So sometimes you can't just count the resonance structures because some resonance structures count for more than others. A resonance structure where the negative charge is happier is going to be more helpful than when it's on a carbon right. over here. Okay, now if you're just guessing again, it, it should be a good guess that this is more acidic because sure. it actually has the word acid in its name. But now we have an explanation for why that is. And this is just our general explanation for why carboxylic acid hydroxy groups are more acidic than alcohol hydroxy groups. Even if there was no benzene, even if there was no benzene, We 
we would expect a carboxylic acid to be more acidic than an alcohol because this negative charge structure is stabilized by resonance and this doesn't have any resonance right. stabilization at all. Okay, that's the exact type of logic that you have to be going through here now. And it might be that on your test, you don't, you're not actually required to draw the resonance structures, but it's still a good habit to get into to draw them if you to, to draw them so to help you to think through the problem. That's a good example, and it sounds like your, your analysis of that was good. Well, anyway, when we left off, we were talking about the acidity of phenol, and we were talking about how it was relatively acidic because if it loses its proton, the negative charge can be stabilized by resonance. So when the phenol loses its proton, the negative charge can be on this oxygen, or this carbon, or this carbon, or this carbon. Now, one thing we saw here is that there's only certain carbons that the negative charge can be on in the benzene. Which carbons would we say it's on, the O, the M, or the P? It's on the O right now. Well, I think looking at all the resonance structures, oh. Oh. Which, which carbons can the negative charge o be on? P. Yeah, O and P. And that turns out to have it, uh, an effect on reactivity. If you want, um, if you want to make this more acidic, well, you'd, um, that, that determines whether you want to put a uh, substituent on the O, P, or M positions. And also, um, that, that has other effects. Even if you just have a neutral phenol, even a neutral phenol can donate electrons to the ring. But when the and that puts negative charges in the ring. But when it does that, where does it put the negative charge? Which carbons? Um, it puts it on to... And we drew the first two resonance structures here, but we can already start to figure it out. It's going to put it on the uh, O and the P. That's right. We can see from this picture that we can put the negative charge on the O position. And then you can see from these electron pushing arrows that we're going to skip over the M position and put it on the P position down here. That kind of just reinforces what we saw here. If we, even, even with neutral phenol, there are resonance structures where there's negative charges in the ring, but the negative charge can only be on the O and the P positions, not the M positions. Last time we discussed this compound. Mm -hmm. So is the phenol more acidic with or without the chlorine? Um, is the phenol more acidic? Let's see here. When would the phenol be more acidic? When it has the chlorine or when it doesn't have the chlorine? It's going to be more acidic. Would it matter? It doesn't matter in the position, though? It doesn't matter in this case because we're just comparing chlorine and no chlorine. Okay, so it's going to be more acidic. With the chlorine? Yeah. That's, that's the right answer. And why does the chlorine make it more acidic? Because uh, the chlorine can help uh, by induction of, uh, the, help spread out or um, mm -hmm. the, the negative charge that would be going around the ring. After it lost the proton. As usual, we have to think about what it would look like after it loses the proton. Well, it's going to be this picture is pretty happy to lose a proton because the negative charge would be stabilized by induction by this chlorine because chlorine is electron withdrawing. Now that you've seen the other videos about electrophilic aromatic substitution, you know that that was more, that that's a more tricky issue than it might seem. We know that chlorine is electron withdrawing by induction, Correct. but how about by resonance? Would chlorine tend to be electron donating or withdrawing by resonance? Donating. Donating. Because by resonance, the chlorine can do this. But we, we never really seem to have talked about that much in the past. You might remember from the other video series, resonance isn't very important for chlorine or bromine because they're so much bigger than the carbons. When one atom is much bigger than another atom, it doesn't have very good, um, it, it, it can't contribute much by resonance. Because resonance occurs by side-to-side -side overlap of the p orbitals. But these p orbitals are so much bigger than these p orbitals that there's not a very effective overlap. So we don't worry too much about resonance effects from chlorine and bromine or iodine. We're not going to worry about the resonance effect from the chlorine or the bromine um, or the iodine. And fluorine just doesn't come up very much in OCAM, so we won't talk much about fluorine either. 
In any case, fluorine is so electronegative that I think even there the induction would beat the resonance, but I think we just will we'll leave fluorine out. So that confirms what we said before. By induction, this is electron withdrawing, and for uh, molecules from the second row and below, like chlorine and bromine, resonance is not a big factor. 